What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're going to do a little review on the fire hose work pants from Duluth Trading Company. So if you're interested in hearing what I have to say about these pants, stay tuned. <laughs> So as I move my keyboard so I don't scroll on the computer anymore tonight, um, let's see here about these pants. So we'll start off with the price. Um, these bad boys are on sale right now. Uh, really doesn't matter, but they're on sale for uh, 50 bucks, but they're usually 70. So 69.50 is what they usually cost. Um, I, I would highly recommend these pants. There are a couple things that uh, are left to be desired. Let's get down to those. So for $70, uh, you've got a pretty tough pair of pants. So this fire hose material is no doubt tough. Um, I have cut firewood in these pants for uh, quite a few years now, and uh, they're just starting to show a little bit of wear on the front. Um, just a little bit breakdown of the first layer, um, kind of get fuzzy, but um, really not that bad. So some of the things that I don't like about these pants is here on the cargo pocket. Uh, th the Velcro has a lot to be desired. So, you know, I, I really feel like it's a cheap Velcro. Um, it, it doesn't, I mean, you can literally see how, how easy it just comes apart. It, it, it's really not um, something that I would have done. Uh, either a better Velcro or not Velcro at all. Um, some people do the button latch. Uh, you know, it, it's a cargo pant. I mean, what are you gonna do? The one feature that I do like is that you can tuck this, uh, this flap completely inside and it has some Velcro inside to hold the flap. So now you have a cargo pocket that has a flap. So try to move my, there we go the light a little bit better on them. So you have a cargo uh, pocket on them with without the flap and you have a lot of different options. They have a small pocket and a large pocket here. Uh, I wish the duck brown would show up better in this light. Uh, but two loops on the side, um, I, I've never really figured out what I could use them for. Um, kind of like a hammer loop here on the left and right side, but they're not big enough for a hammer. Uh, they're barely big enough for a, you know, like a, you could you could slide a screwdriver down in there and it wouldn't slip through. I'm not exactly sure what they plan on doing with that. Um, the back pockets, I don't like that the back pockets also have Velcro. Uh, I, I would rather like an open back pocket. Uh, that's usually how most pants are. You don't have to, uh, you know, un-Velcro. Now, these have never been undone, so these are nice and uh, sturdy when it comes to the Velcro. But after a couple uses, just like the cargo pocket, they really don't hold up well. As for the rest of the pant, um, other than the cargo pockets and the Velcro leaving a little bit to be desired, um, uh, you know, a couple overall design things, like I wish it would have made a bigger hammer loop, it would probably be better for a lot of those guys swinging a hammer all day. Um, I don't carry a hammer on me. Um, if I do, it'll be in a tool belt. So not really a deal breaker for me, but still. Uh, and, and the Velcro on the back pocket. I don't know. Everything is triple stitched. Uh, I really like that about it. I've you know, had a lot of pairs of pants come apart at the stitching from carrying firewood. Uh, the bottom is not, the bottoms of the legs are not even really frayed that much. I mean, you talk about being in the woods and thorns and stuff for years now. I think I've owned this pair of pants for four or five years now. So um, I think maybe I bought them in 2014. And I kind of cringed at the price, but by all means, these pants are really holding up. Uh, the crotch gusset. So everybody has probably seen the commercial about the crotch gusset and being able to have those ballroom pants. So here, I don't know if you can see this well. I hope this comes out well. Um, this crotch gusset or this little diamond is incredible how much this adds to just be able to stretch out those two seams 
um, you know, in the pants when you're crouching. It is phenomenal. I cannot believe how much room it has in there. Um, it kind of just takes the whole crotch of the pants and extends it away from you. So that little diamond of fabric, uh, in, instead of the two seams tightening up on you when you crouch, uh, it allows it to open up on you when you crouch. So it's really nice. When they talk about ballroom, they are not kidding. They are super comfortable and they have an enormous amount of room in them. Um, these are the relaxed fit. I have not tried the uh, the conform fit or slim fit. Um, I haven't tried those. The belt loops are awesome. The belt loops are really wide, made of the same material, double stitched on both sides. I've never had one wear out. I really do like the big belt loop back here in the back, um, you know, for uh, your plumber's crack uh, or, or problems like that. Um, you have that big belt loop in the back. Thumbs up. Also on the inside, I never use these pockets, but there is a hidden pocket on the inside here. Um, so it, it's on the inside of your, uh, basically on the inside of your left side, you can have a hidden pocket there. Once again, it's Velcro. And, you know, if you're trying to trying to do this while, uh, you know, wearing the pants, it, it's really difficult to use. So I don't use it. Um, the zipper has held up great. The button has held up great. They've been really, really good pants. So I highly recommend these Duluth training or Duluth trading uh, fire hose work pants. They're awesome. This is the fire hose cargo work pant, and it is it's a great product. Uh, it, it has not done me wrong. Just a couple design things that I would do different. Um, it, here is the only real fraying part move my light all together. Here's the only real fraying part right here um, along the top side of my pocket. That's the only spot in the pants where it's really come unfrayed a little bit, but that's just the edge of the material coming unfrayed. It's not the stitching coming undone. Um, I mean, imagine how many times you use these pockets. Um, I, I usually just cut firewood in these. Um, they're real nice and thick. Um, I also own a fleece-lined pair. I'll probably do a review on that in the future, but the fleece-lined pair are really warm. I mean, you talk about these fire hose pants are already thick, um, and then you add the fleece line in them. Uh, whew, they are for definitely 40 degrees and under weather, um, and they will burn you up, that's for sure. So I really enjoy these pants. I figured I'd uh, run a review out on them, tell you guys that I like them a lot, um, by no means am I sponsored. I've had these pants forever and they've just held up great. I know a lot of people were uh, commenting on other videos about them and they get two thumbs up. So I hope to see you in the future. If you haven't clicked subscribed already, please do so. For those of you who have been around the channel and are loyal to me, you know what time it is. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into, and we'll see you guys in the next video.